Orleans, Louisiana, home of the pad, one of the most infamous street racing spots in the world. We were here a couple years ago for some wild street racing. We saw a car literally get split in half on a nitrous pass, and we're back two years later here for a cash days. We had 45 cars sign up, only 26 or 27 have showed up here, but we have a lock-in money from all the 45 cars, so it's gonna be a decent pot, probably over 10 grand on the line this weekend. We got the driver's meeting starting right now. We're gonna see who showed up and then get to some street racing. So look here. First of all, thank y'all for coming out to this fine place we done established. <laughs> we work hard for this shit. And don't jump the light, that's the stupidest way to lose a race. If I tell you you jump, don't get a second opinion because it don't matter. Now at the finish line, I got my people down. If he say you lost, you lost. If he think you lost or he don't know, he gonna ask me to look at the video and I'm gonna tell him what I think. Um, you doing outlaw light? Yeah, I run back. I might take two step ten, one, I don't know what I'm gonna take. But the light come on go. If I'm on the ground and that bitch come on go. Well, here we are back at the pad, one of the most epic spots in the world to street race at. And you can see why, the atmosphere is just crazy. We literally have a cotton candy truck, there's a barbecue grill further on down, there's another concession stand down there. Hundreds of cars here, it took us about 20 minutes just to drive through the traffic to find a spot. But here we're just a few minutes away from racing, so you're gonna see some epic street racing tonight. The road is just like no other road in the world. There's only a couple roads I've ever been on that have this much rubber. There's gotta be a quarter inch of rubber on the surface here that's been street race so much. Pretty shortly we'll see cars pulling up here and get to the action. No pulley, so it was 25 percent overdriven. So we just swapped on 25 percent underdriven. <laughs> <laughs> she was a turd, but it went. Just so now make it work. It worked then, so we're, now we all we can do is switch it back. I think the road will hold it for a little bit. Yeah. Definitely cooling. Yeah, hey, where's, cool. the, where's the truck in the first? 
Okay, so the F body blew his head gasket at the starting line. The other car blew his head gasket about halfway down the eighth mile track here and just started skating all over the place. Of course, everyone's watching this car. They had no idea that was going on. So this whole road has coolant on it, unfortunately. Definitely head to the next spot right now. It don't matter. Take a race. 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 Take
the second spot. We're hoping we can get first down done. It's literally five o'clock in the morning. All the racers got here quick. Let's get to pair number seven. Uh, what's the setup on patches we're we looking at here? The setup is a 347 stock bottom end LS with a pretty good size turbo on. Pretty decent. I can see it right there. It looks pretty right. decent. Size. How much power is the truck making? Uh, we really don't talk about it. Oh, that's fine. You it's, know, it's, tell me. it's up there. She be she, uh, she pretty good on the street, though? Yeah. We'll see you when you get up there, man. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. this thing like it's yours? Oh, hey, mine. It's that man's. I'm used to seeing you in Fox bodies only, so so what's going on here? Well, first of all, what is it? What are we looking at here? Uh, this is an OBS. I learned this the other day. Okay. I mean, it's old body style. Old body style. But, uh, single turbo LS, power glide, race truck. Turbo LS, the stuff you're used to. Yep. Somebody told me that you've been wheeling this for a couple weeks now. Third race we've been to, three weeks Gotcha. Now. How you been so, doing? Good. It's, we, we made a bunch of changes to it and, uh, it came around really quick. I've heard this truck gets down, so I'll be excited to see it. It does. It holds its own. All right. So, we'll see you, man. We'll see you. Good luck. Thank Throw a couple rounds for us. Taking home the win by like, I'm gonna guess four or five cars. You wouldn't be able to tell in the video, but we sat here for probably 10 minutes with traffic going back and forth. And the Camaro did a new burnout, but the Firebird didn't. And it just went. Like, we've seen that car race on some really crappy roads. This is a great road. I, I mean, I'm a little surprised, but not really. So he's going on to the next round. I think we have one or two more pairs left, and then we'll be in the second round, which would be awesome. Five. 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 Five.
So good news, we're going to finish second round here right now. We just got the pairs drawn. The Honda Insights made its way through. Shift change just happened at the factory down the street at 6 o'clock. So it's been very busy for traffic. I hope that it's, it's better. We can get five races done because there's seven pairs, two competition buys, one person left, one person's broken. And then we'll finish up the race tomorrow after we finish second round right now. Unfortunately, I was really hoping to see that car go rounds because it's fast. Nerds must have got the most of them or sitting here waiting for traffic to come through. That's the way it goes. Takes it home just by barely. Billy got out of him by a car, but I could see him freight training mid track. That was a badass hole shot. Holy shit. He did really good. We might have to put a tighter converter in it for him. Yeah. That was a little man. more power, too. <laughs> nice run, man. Badass.
The sun's coming up, and that's it for second round here in the New Orleans Cash Days. And I thought we were going to finish third round and beyond tomorrow, but they're drawing right now, so we're going to get into third round right now. On to the third round. Yes, sir. Nice. Nice. What do you got in the Camaro? What got, what's the combo? Bill Bottom and Fox 3. Single turtle? Single turtle. Uh, single 103. 103. How good? 103. Jesus. <laughs> it's a very unsuspecting car. Yes. Yes. A little exhaust. It's actually his. I just dropped it. Yeah. yeah. Badass. Turbo Chevy's going at it. Good luck, man. <laughs> Casey Max, the other car getting the whole shot, but he freight trains on the top end. He's got a lot of turbos there. I think twin 94s on a big block. That's just that's a lot. Did you swap them around? Is that what you did? Or you We're doing there? that and trying to move the carpet different directions, see if it helps. <laughs> so we've been playing the makeup game the last couple rounds. Yeah, yeah, last two vehicles got me out of the hole. Yeah. Uh, freight train so, like a mother on the top end. But. Yeah, even though we got a bunch of wheel speed, it's uh, just sliding down through there. Perfect. So, keep keep trying. winning. I can't believe how good this is. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a ton of rubber up there, but. Right, like I say, it's, it's, it's real impressive. And on a like 55 degree day. Yeah.
does it again, but unfortunately it goes out. I think that's my favorite car here at the race. It was just so much fun to watch. But now it's going to be KC Max and the Nitrous Mustang in the final. Two fast cars once again, but I got to put on my boy KC Max. I think he's going to take it home. Oops. Are you serious? Right. Cops are rolling in right now, and we have one more race to go. Damn it. All right, guys, we're back at the pad. It is 9.21 in the morning. We've tried to get this final off at least three times. So let's see if we can do it now. Six cars, eight hours, one winner. Congrats to Casey Max. They're taking home nine thousand dollars, and they have oh about a fourteen-hour drive home. So hopefully they don't spend it all in one place. Nicely done. Can't be cops, but a little be little wiggle at the end, but yeah, yeah done. big wiggle at the end. The, the, the red, the red like car, yeah. <laughs> the red car had a big wiggle. He got back in it afterwards and it wasn't happening. Yeah. I still think that the car was heavy. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, that's kind of where we lost it. Seems like it where the crossover was. Yeah. Well, all in one night. And you're going racing where? Alabama? Uh, Monroe, Louisiana. <laughs> you're crazy. So, yeah, we still got enough time. All right, we'll get to the track, take a nap. Yes, sir. Spend some money on breakfast on the way. Thanks, guys. Nice work. I'll see you. Wow, I can't believe we did it. I mean, at this point, I can't believe we finished it tonight. Hey. Especially, I'm sorry, this morning, it's literally 9.30 in the morning, but one hell of a cash days here in New Orleans. This street is wild. The, the street racing culture here is wild. They just, they don't give up. They're all about it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be having plenty more street racing on our channel, so make sure to subscribe. Please share this video with your friends that like street racing and cash days. We'll see you later.